Hey everyone, let me tell you a story about a family that just moved into a new house in the middle of the forest, close to a beautiful lake. The family consists of a mom and her twin boys, Lucas and Elias. One day, Lucas and Elias are having fun playing hide and seek around their new home. But when they hear their mom coming back home, they rush to greet her. Instead of seeing their familiar mom, they see a woman with a bandage covering almost her entire face. Turns out their mom had cosmetic surgery on her face. Lucas and Elias are a bit surprised, but they listen to her and follow her instructions. Here's where things get a bit strange. For some reason, their mom only pays attention to Elias. She cooks meals only for him, plays games with him, and answers only when Elias talks to her. Meanwhile, Lucas is left out and ignored. It's definitely a weird situation that makes you wonder what's going on. Since their mom is still recovering from her surgery, she sets up some strict new rules. The house has to be completely silent all the time, no visitors allowed, no animals, and nothing from outside can come in. They have to keep the curtains closed and can only play quietly outside the house. As the twins, Lucas and Elias, watch their mom's odd behavior, they start to suspect that something's not right. They think the woman under the bandages might not be their real mom. The big red flag for them is how their mom treats Elias. She can be cruel, lashing out at Elias physically when he's naughty or doesn't listen to her. This isn't like their mom at all. She would never scold them so harshly. Lucas and Elias become more convinced that the woman behind the bandages isn't actually their mom. They remember how their real mom was always kind and loving towards them and would never behave this way. The story takes a surreal turn when the twins, Lucas and Elias, have a shared dream. In the dream, their mother wanders into the woods in just her underwear. She completely disrobes and starts to unravel her bandages. Then her head begins to spasm and spin. It's a pretty disturbing and strange image. The next day, Lucas and Elias decide to create trouble on purpose as a way to stand up to the woman they believe isn't their real mom. This leads to a big fight as the twins demand to have their real mom back. They insist that the woman they see isn't their mom, which only confuses her more and makes her think the boys have lost their minds. Elias goes so far as to directly tell her she's not his mom, which angers her. As punishment, she forces Elias to say 10 times that she's his real mother. It's a tense and upsetting situation for the twins as they try to navigate their suspicions and the unsettling reality they're facing. After the big fight, their mom tells Elias he has to stop talking to Lucas, which makes him really sad because it feels like she's trying to separate the two of them. A few days go by and the boys are still upset with their mom. They wish for their real mother to come back soon. Then one day, mommy wants to talk to them both. She tells them she's not angry anymore and wants to make amends. Mommy walks into the room without her bandages on, showing her new face. But even with the change, Lucas and Elias aren't convinced she's really their mom. They compare her to old photos, but they still have their doubts. As an apology, Mommy gives them a boomerang as a peace offering. Elias eagerly asks for permission to go outside and play with the boomerang, which Mommy allows. The story takes another intense turn when Mommy opens the back door. Lucas and Elias seize the opportunity to escape and run for their lives. They head into town and find an old church where they ask the priest for help. The priest promises to take them to the police station to report the imposter pretending to be their mother. But he ends up tricking them and bringing them right back home. It's a major twist in the story, and the boys must have felt pretty betrayed. The priest asks Mommy what's going on, but she just vaguely talks about how things have been tough since the accident and the separation. It's not a clear explanation, and it leaves everyone with more questions. Mommy goes back inside the house, but she can't find Elias or Lucas anywhere. After a while, she gives up searching and goes to bed, crying herself to sleep. It's a sad and unsettling situation as the mystery around this family deepens. The story takes a dark and chilling turn when Lucas and Elias decide to take matters into their own hands. That same night, they do something drastic to their mom. In the morning, Mommy wakes up to find herself bound to the bed and unable to escape. To make things even creepier, her twins are standing there wearing homemade goblin masks. The twins start asking about their real mom's whereabouts. Mommy insists that she asterisk is asterisk their real mother, but Lucas and Elias aren't buying it. They compare their mom's photo with Mommy's appearance and argue over whether she's their real mom or not. A rift starts to form between the twins. 
Elias begins to believe that Mommy might actually be their mother, while Lucas remains convinced that she's an imposter. When Elias is alone with Mommy, she keeps trying to convince him that she is their real mother and begs him to free her. Elias starts to cut the bindings around her feet, but then Lucas returns and stops him, asking what he's doing. It creates an intense and suspenseful moment. They demonstrate that her facial birthmark can be easily wiped off, and when she claims it was removed during surgery, Elias doesn't believe her and reacts by slapping her. At that moment, the twins start questioning her again about the whereabouts of their real mother. They begin torturing her in shocking and unnatural ways, causing extreme pain and distress. They keep mommy tied up on the bed for days, during which she wets the bed due to her confinement. The twins briefly release her from her bindings to change the bedding, and mommy uses the chance to try and escape. However, the twins have set up a booby trap that causes her to fall and knock herself unconscious. When she wakes up, she finds herself glued to the living room floor. Things take an even darker turn as Elias starts to burn down the house to pressure her into telling them the truth about their real mother. The story reaches a dramatic turning point as Mommy makes a desperate plea to Elias for her life. She tells Elias she'll go along with his belief that Lucas is still alive if he frees her. She offers to make Lucas's breakfast and do whatever Elias wants. Then, Mommy tearfully explains to Elias that Lucas's death was not his fault. She begs her son to set her free so they can both move on from the tragedy. This is where everything comes to light. Lucas has actually been dead the whole time. Lucas has been nothing but a hallucination, a result of Elias's dissociative identity disorder. Elias can't accept the loss of his other half, so he's been imagining Lucas as still being alive. Mommy initially goes along with Elias's belief, acting as if Lucas were still around. But for her, Lucas is no longer real. It's a heartbreaking revelation that changes everything we thought we knew about the story. Elias's struggle to accept the reality of his brother's death adds a layer of tragedy to the situation. The final act sees Elias challenging Mommy to prove she's their mother by telling him what Lucas is doing. At the time, Lucas is holding a torch near the curtain, but of course Mommy can't see that since Lucas isn't really there. Elias believes that his real mother would be able to see Lucas, so he takes the torch from Lucas and sets the curtain on fire. The flames quickly spread across the living room and eventually engulf Mommy. Tragically, she dies a fiery death. The movie ends with firefighters extinguishing the blaze, but they arrive too late to save Mommy. The final shot of the film is haunting and bittersweet. It shows Elias and his imagined brother Lucas walking through a cornfield and emerging to be with their real mother. The three of them smile and embrace, suggesting a sense of peace and reunion in Elias's mind.